Hello everyone, this is John Dunlop, aka Seafood Metalot. In this video, I'd like to show you how I accomplished the challenge of clear coating pieces such as these. When you look at the hair and all of you know the detail, how do you get the clear in there? So um, I basically created a rotisserie so that it will continuously turn until the clear has dried, not letting it run. And here you see the contraption that I created just um, out of a couple things I bought from Home Depot a piece of black pipe some little caster wheels and some angle iron see the basic structure is you know nothing too involved I bought a rotisserie motor from the uh, local barbecue store. It cost me like ten or eleven dollars. Piece of black pipe. I drilled a hole in the black pipe and welded a bolt on it so that I can slide a piece of rebar into it and tighten it down. And on this end here, by the motor, I grinded the rebar into a square so it fits into the cam of the motor. And then I slid it into the black pipe and bolted it down tight. The motor's just sitting there. I created like a little wedge just to sit it right into. And here you could see the piece of rebar that I grinded into a little square to fit into the motor. So that, that actually worked out very well. And the best part is if the motor goes bad, another 10 bucks and I just switch it. The only problem I did come across was over like 15-20 minutes of time, I would find that the black pipe would kind of walk out of the mode a little bit. So after trying it again, what I did here is I created a little stop with just like an axle bolt and a washer. That bolt just slides onto the rebar, I mean onto the black pipe, but I used a hose clamp to keep it from sliding any further and then I welded those two little rods to hold it from walking out. And now it works very well. You could run it all night long and, and it doesn't walk out of the motor. It just continues fine. So here you see me testing it out. I uh, just whipped together a little butterfly, clear coated it, vice gripped it to a piece of rebar and slid it down into the pipe and tightened it and, uh, you know, gave it a try out. And it actually worked pretty cool. This thing actually worked better than I could have ever imagined. I guess that's why I put it on a video. It really was just a uh, kind of a joke. I say, boy, too bad I can't spin these things all night long until they dry. So this is what I came up with. And here's my first angel that I clear coated on it. And I literally just pour the urethane over it. And then I'll turn it, let it drain, turn it, let it drain, turn it, let it drain. And then uh, I'll just let it run and go in the house and come back the next morning and it's really nice as you can see it really uh, really works well I mean there's no way you could clear coat the hair like that spray painting it will you know this these pieces really need penetration of clear in every little nook and cranny if if you want them to last the best that they can That's it, it's just running away. That's the second angel in the background. These are the two angels that I uh, put together on that other video of making a steel angel. And, uh, as always, I hope you guys enjoy my videos, and I look forward to hearing from you, and I'll continue to make more. And 
that's how you get results like that. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.